There's our spot where he jumped, and there's where the GoPro's at. Oh! What's up guys? Here we are at a brand new location. We're on a very specific mission today. This is Jerry. What's up? I haven't shaken your hand yet, man. Hey. They lost something very special and dear to their hearts. I was over here cliff diving and everything. My friend jumped off the eagle's nest with my GoPro. I didn't have a floaty on it. It just immediately sunk. He must have jumped from the 50 or 60 foot and as soon as he smacked the water, he let, he let go of the GoPro. Oh no! So it was on like an arm strap you said? Uh, no, it's just like I just took it off my helmet. Okay. So. You're you're talking about this cliff right here, right? Yep, right there. Okay. I got my cousin here, Steve. How many how many years? Uh, it's been about three. Three years. So we got some we got some experts on the job. So uh, GoPro six, right? Yep. We're gonna see if we can find it. If we don't find it, maybe we'll find some other stuff too. We could find you know a a big bag of money with a name on it. We could return that. Lots of beer cans. Yeah, lots of beer cans. We'll take some trash out. So definitely keep watching to the end of the video. If we find anything else valuable that we can return, we will do that. And that's always my favorite part of the video. So without further ado, we're going to get our gear on and jump in the water and see if we can find this guy's GoPro 6. Would that make your day? Oh, it would. There's our spot where he jumped. And there's where the GoPro's at. Let's get in the water. With that hoodie, you look like Assassin's Creed of the water. Is it right here? This way, this way. So where he's at? Okay. Here we go. It's just so hot after oh. being down there. Crazy. Got an Apple Watch over there. No. Look at that thing, guys. Hey, this could still work. You never know. Series 3. It hasn't been down there too long. Seems pretty, uh, pretty clean. 
find any more Oakleys down there? Uh. <laughs> Day two, and I'm gonna try to get this thing dried out, turn it on, as you can find the owners on these things. So, if that happens, I will have it in the video. Keep watching to the end if you wanna see that. Wow, we found the GoPro. Here's the lucky winner of the day. <laughs> yeah. So that was been down there for what, three weeks now since Labor Day? Yeah. Totally dry. Totally dry. How did that feel? That was awesome. Hey, have you ever done a dive where you're trying to recover something specific? I have, yeah. How many times have you found it? The one time that, that I did the, it? The, yeah, the propeller. You're yeah. telling me about that on the drive over. recovery dive. It's like, we, hey, we lost our propeller. I'm like, all right, we'll go find it. That's right, it was <laughs> awesome. His battery is dead. It's been down there a few weeks and it was running while he dropped it. So we're gonna pop this good battery in there and watch some awesome footage. So let's see, the last one would be this one, right? It ran for an hour and 30 minutes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> let's see it fall. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, nice well, that's a jump, that's a jump. That is a jump. Oh! Uh, it's it. gone. It goes. It's gone. There it goes. <laughs> Drop yeah. it again and give me a call, man. Okay, <laughs> this time will be a floaty, so I don't think I'll need it. <laughs> well, good to meet right. you. Cool. Yeah, thanks, man. Have a nice yeah. one. Thank you. Thanks. Yep, you bet. Okay, guys. Well, we had a successful day. Got this. this is actually my probably my best find. Paddleboard paddle. It's like readjustable right here. A bunch of sunglasses. The best pair being this pair of Oakleys, but I think it's seen better days. And I don't even know if these were real to begin with. A bunch of other sunglasses. Two diving masks. One of them's name was Chloe. Chloe, if you're out there and uh, you want this back, you know how to find me. You got a good pair right there. Yeah, I did right here. Nice little pair of gas cans. Dang. Hey, put those things on. Let's see what. <laughs> Perfect condition. Those are nice. <laughs> Not Woo. bad. Uh, I got a lighter. See if that works when it dries out. And then last but not least, bam, <laughs> Apple Watch. This is my first Apple Watch. I'm super glad that we were able to find that for Jerry. That was really cool. That was Steve's second time recovering something successfully. And uh, my first time, I've, I've tried to find lots of stuff, but most of the time it's just like finding a needle in the haystack. Thanks for inviting me, Dallas. Yeah, of course. Awesome. Look at this Apple Watch. I actually was looking at it and I don't see any moisture inside. So there actually might be a chance this thing turns on. My wife has an Apple Watch, so she has a charger luckily. So let's uh, let's see if this thing turns on. Do it nice and close. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that thing works! I was, I thought for sure it was not gonna turn on because when I found it, there was like, there was murky like uh, scum all over it. And so I was like, it had to have been down there for at least like a, a few weeks. Uh -huh. It says it's charging. So I guess we'll see if it actually boots up. Well, it doesn't turn on unless you take it off the charger. We're gonna go run some errands right now. We'll leave this charging and then we're gonna come back and hopefully we can find the owner of this thing, give him or her a call and then we'll, uh, that'd be amazing if we got two returns on one trip. Cause we only found two really good things. And if we can find this owner, that'd be amazing. So we just got home. This, look at this, it's on. It works perfectly. Check that out. 
but there's a passcode. Um, there's no SIM card, so normally my go-to is like to pull out the SIM card from the phone and like stick it into a different phone and find the phone number. I've never found an Apple Watch before. This is my first Apple Watch that I've found, and so I've got some tinkering to do to see if I can locate the owner. It looks like they don't have find my iPhone on or anything. That would be my first option is if they like popped up a message that said, please call this number. I don't see that, and so um, see what I can do. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more of this. Click that like button down below if you like this. One, two, three.